Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about hidden iPhone features. As we all know, iPhones have a ton of features which a lot of users actually don't know about, but most of them are actually very, very useful and will help you a lot and allow you to do, of course, way more and way easier things with your iPhone. So here's the first one. If you use Shazam or music recognition, whatever you want to call it on your iPhone, and you recognize a song, you will now have a pretty cool feature. So when you go to the song that you have recognized, you know that Shazam now has been bought by Apple and it basically suggests you to play that song. You can now even play it the full song right here on Shazam from Apple Music, but a lot of users actually don't use Apple Music. If you use Spotify like I do, then you will have a hidden feature here. If you tap the three dots right there, it shows you listen on and you will now have the option to play directly on Spotify from Shazam. Now here's one really useful feature that you should use on your iPhone. As you know, with the introduction of the app library, a lot of users will keep just a few apps on their home screen. Like I do right here, I have two pages. These are the stock apps from Apple, most of them. And then right here, I have some apps that I use daily on my iPhone. But there's a pretty cool feature that allows you to have a dynamic home screen page. Now, what I'm talking about here are these apps that will change throughout the day and based on my usage. So what you're seeing here are three different widgets. They're actually the same widget, but I have added three of those. And this is the Siri suggestion widget, which you can add from the widgets panel, of course. Now it offers the medium widget only. You add three of them and it won't show the same apps on all of them. It will show you different apps on three different widgets and you will have the apps that use the most here. In the morning, it will show probably other apps during nighttime, other apps during the day, other apps based on your location and your usage. It will dynamically change the apps that it shows here. Now, if you see an app that you don't actually want to see here, it's pretty simple. You just force touch on it, tap on don't suggest the name of the app, and then it suggests you another app instead of that. If you use focus modes on your iPhone, then here's a pretty cool feature that you need to know. Head on to your settings and then go under focus. Now right here we'll have your focus modes. If I go to one of them, like the recording one that I have right here, we will have here notifications and then we have options. If we go under options, you will have something called silence notifications. Now this will give you a few options right here. We tap where it says always and you can see right here what you can do. You can now silence notifications always when you're on that focus mode or you can choose to do that only when your iPhone is locked. So when you have your iPhone in your hand, you have it unlocked and you're using it, it won't silence your notifications. And this right here is a pretty cool feature that Apple has introduced with iOS 17. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys don't know about this. So whenever you're taking a screenshot and you're marking it up, or even if you're doing this on a picture that you have on your camera roll, if you add a shape, so let's say I want to add this shape right here. Of course, I can customize this. I can change the color of the shape and do anything I want with it. What I can do now with iOS 17 is that I can actually double tap on that shape and it allows me to add any text I want. So right here, I can just go ahead, add any text I want as easy as that. And of course you can then even move it around and you can do pretty much anything that you can do with a shape on iOS. So if I move it, you can see the text will move with it. I can resize it. I can change still the color here, anything I want to do. So it's pretty awesome. If you just want to mark up something, you want to point out something, you can just go ahead and add any text you want to that shape. Now this right here is probably something a lot of users want to know. If you take a screenshot of a web page, you know that on iOS, you will be able to move the full page here. But before iOS 17, you would be able to just save this as a PDF file. Now what you can do with iOS 17 is that when you tap the dumb button, you can actually save this to photos. And what it will do, it will save the complete screenshot as long as it is as an image under a camera roll and not just convert it into a PDF file and save it under your files app. 
Whenever you need to quickly set a timer or add an alarm to your clock app, from the spotlight search, simply search for clock and then it will give you the option right here. What we can do here is set a timer directly from here we can start a timer or you can even add an alarm directly from here just choose the time add the alarm and you're good to go directly from the spotlight search without having to actually even open the clock app you can set a timer and also add a new alarm only messages app on iOS 17 you know that we have these stickers here and of course we can react with stickers and all that stuff but if you send or receive a sticker you want to know the details or delete that sticker here's how you do it so if I have a sticker here on this message I can just force touch on that message and it will show me right here like a pop-up and right here it says sticker details if I go there it will show me the sticker details the date when it has been sent and the name of the contact but I also will be able to delete the sticker from here and you can see it will actually be removed from the message as well on iOS 17 when you go to your messages and you tap this plus button right here you will see the new list of apps you tap on more you see all the apps right here now of course you can move these around and add them to your favorites or remove them but you won't be able to actually completely remove an app from here or add a new app the way to do that it's actually pretty simple head on to your settings app and from here go to messages and you will see something here called iMessage apps and from here you will be able to enable or disable different apps so I can enable reddit and tiktok here disable shazam for example and there i will have them right here once i go back to the apps you can see that it has now added tiktok and it has removed shazam now this right here is also another very very useful feature of ios 17. now apple has done a lot of improvements to the password section on ios 17. now you also will be able to share your passwords so when you go to a password that you have here all you have to do is tap the share button right there authenticate with your face id and then from here you will be able to actually send a copy via airdrop of that password and last but not least on the notes app when you're creating a note you will be able to actually link another note to that note and it's pretty simple to do you tap right here tap on add link and now you will be able to paste a url right here or just add the title of a note that you have previously created so here i have a few older notes i can tap on it and now i can use the note title as the name for that link tap on done and there i have now i'm creating a new note here but i have linked another note to this one so that's basically for this video guys and these are some hidden features that i think are pretty useful and i suggest you learn them and use them on daily basis on your iphone hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you did and of course subscribe for more videos and i'll see you on the next one